The eviction process. Eviction lawsuits against tenants involve gathering documented evidence about lease breaches, filing for eviction in the local court, and getting a court order for eviction. Landlord-tenant laws are complicated and vary from state to state. According to Cornell Law School, there are six types of rules that govern residential evictions. These are federal law common law court rules state law local law lease agreements how the eviction process works in most cases landlords have to provide delinquent tenants with a formal notice of eviction the most common termination notice requests tenants to resolve the violation or quit the unit for example if the eviction notice is due to non-payment of rent the landlord can give a set period to pay rent in full. If the tenant complies, then the landlord cannot evict them. Landlords can file an eviction lawsuit if tenants fail to fix the issue by not paying rent in full or resolving the lease breach. The judge will examine the evidence and make a ruling. If the judge rules in the landlord's favor, the court serves an eviction order, and the tenant must vacate the property, usually within three days. How to avoid tenant evictions It's always a good idea to avoid evicting tenants if possible. Evictions are costly, time-consuming, and stressful. Here are some tips for landlords to prevent evictions. Always thoroughly screen tenants before signing lease agreements. Offer a cash-for-keys deal to get tenants out fast. Use a rent collection app to streamline the rental payment process. Offer a payment plan for good tenants who have temporary difficulty paying full rent. Avoid partial payments when evicting tenants during the eviction process. It's a good idea to avoid accepting partial payments. In most states, the court views partial rent payments as intent to pay full rent. An important thing to remember is that you agree to let the tenant remain in the property when you accept a partial rent payment. You are back to the start of any eviction process. To avoid tenants making partial payments, successful landlords use rent collections apps. Even though tenants can pay online using services like PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, they are not suitable for landlords. For example, landlords can't refuse payments. So, a tenant could make a partial payment to halt the eviction process. Thank you for watching. JF Property Group are offering you a residential lot, agricultural lot for sale and an apartment for rent. Search www.propertygroup.com Contact us for more information. Our social media platform. We offer services to market your business. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification the bell for a more interesting video.